Okay, cool. <laughs>My name is Gina and I am a go-go dancer and a model, but not an import model. I think nowadays import modeling is for like failed models. It's more like, hey, you know, you have a half decent face, some tits and ass, can you bend over in front of this car? And then all of a sudden they call themselves a model. I think it's insulting to the real world of modeling. I don't think they should even be called import models. I think they just should be called decorations, car decorations. Slip, hold up. <laughs> hold up. I've wanted to model since I was about four years old, so it was like my main thing. It helps me be as many characters as I want to. I can dress up as anyone that I want to, and I can be that person for one day. I'll admit, like, I first started off go go dancing because I love the attention, but after a while, like, learning how to dance better and wearing, like, really cute outfits and stuff, I kind of just fell in love with it. Like, I just love performing. I also go go dance for Insomniac Events, which is basically the company that throws, like, Electric Daisy Carnival and Eternal Wonderland. And I've been dancing with them for about five years now. When I got approached to dance at Insomniac, it was like a dream come true. I pretty much got to dance in front of a crowd of, like, 200,000 people. And not a lot of girls get to say that. Tell me if you need more butt. All right. <laughs> I also play a lot of video games. After this whole go-go dancing and modeling thing is over, I want to completely submerse myself in the gaming world. I relate more to like all the geeks and the nerds out there than with, like the models and the go-go dancers. A lot of like girls are always out partying or drinking a lot, but I spend probably 99% of my time in my room playing video games. I recently beat Bioshock Infinite, and I think I beat that in about four days. I am currently playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2 just to kill time until the new Xbox comes out. Yeah, I'm an Xbox gamer. I'm only on Xbox. I know all the PS3 fanboys would kind of kill me for this, but sorry. <laughs> it's my Call of Duty emblem. <laughs> I play for Machinima and I have a YouTube channel where I just showcase like all the games that I play and I make random videos. As a female in general, it really is hard to just prove that you do play games. If two guys start talking about video games, it's cool. But if it's a dude talking to me about video games, what he'll instantly do is he'll ask me questions to see if I actually really do play games. Like he'll quiz me. And then at one point he'll just be like, oh, so you do play games. I'm like, yeah, we do. My gamer tag, X Supervillain, it's like you can't tell if I'm a guy or a girl. One of my pet peeves is just like when girls are like, I'm a girl gamer, my gamer tag is pretty girl 143 XOXO, whatever, you know? And then they're like, oh my god, I hate you guys. I hate how you guys are all hitting on me. Like just because I'm a girl, I'm like, bitch, you put it out there that you're a girl, you know? One of the reasons why girl gamers don't get respected as much is because they try so hard to make themselves seem all special, like they're fucking unicorns, you know? Like, no, you just fucking play games. Just make yourself one of you know, the guys. One of the best nerdy pickup lines was this really adorable guy. He, okay, so one of my most favorite games is coming out soon and it's um, Splinter Cell and it's called Splinter Cell Blacklist. It's coming out at the end of this year. And there's a multiplayer called Spies vs. Mercenaries and it's short for spies, or short for that is Spies vs. Mercs. And he asked me, will you be the spy to my Merc? And I'm like, oh my God, that's so cute. And then I posted that, I have friends that work at Ubisoft I screenshotted that and I sent it to them. They're like, oh my god, that's really fucking funny. I'm like, yeah. They just totally stole my heart. When I was little, I lived on my dad's side of the family, who's Vietnamese. And then um, they told me that my grandmother and my mom's side of the family looks French. So like uh, up until I think last year, I thought we were Vietnamese and French. But I was sitting down um, like watching TV with her and Hulk Hogan comes on TV. She's like, that looks like your great grandfather. I'm like, Drunk? What's going on here? <laughs> and then she's like, no, 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 he had like blonde hair, blonde beard, mustache, and blue eyes. He's Russian. I'm like, what? I'm like, so we're communists all around. And she's like, yeah. So now there's like a lot of people confused, like, oh my god, you're totally lying about your ethnicity. I'm like, bitch, I don't need to fucking lie about shit, you know? So this is the story of how I found out that I'm a commie. <laughs> Hi, my name is Gina and I'm one of the stars of Role Models. Be sure to subscribe to the Loud channel so you don't miss out on any updates and check out all our videos.